There is a junk store. An old man owns it. We bought a used refrigerator from him once. And Carlos sold a box of magazines for a dollar. The store is small, with just a dirty window for light. He doesn't turn the lights on unless... You've got money to buy things with. So in the dark, we look and see all kinds of things. Me and Nenny. Tables. With their feet upside down. Rows and rows of refrigerators. With round corners. And couches that spin dust in the air when you punch them. And a hundred TVs that don't work, probably. Everything is on top of everything, so the whole store has skinny aisles to walk through. You can get lost, easy. Yeah. The owner of, a st the, owner of the store, he is a black man who doesn't talk much, and... Sometimes, if you didn't know better, you could be in there a long time. Before your eyes, notice a pair of gold glasses floating in the dark. Nenny, who thinks she is smart and talks to any old man... Ask lots of questions. Me, I never say nothing to him, except once when I bought the Statue of Liberty for a dime. But Nenny, I hear her asking one time, what's this here, and... The man says this, this is a music box, and I turn around quick. Thinking, he means a pretty music box with flowers painted on it with a ballerina inside. Only, there's nothing like that where this old man is pointing. It's like he let go of a... It's like all of a sudden he let go of Amelia Moss all over the dusty furniture. And swan neck shadows in our bones. Only with a funny plunking sound to it. Like if you were running your fingers across the teeth of a metal comb. And then, I don't know why, but I have to turn around and pretend I don't care about the box. So Nenny won't see how stupid I am. But Nenny who is stupider, is already asking how much, and I can see her fingers going for the quarters in her pocket. This, the old man says, shutting the lid, this ain't for sale.